Gentlemen? Edward forgot his book. Oh, thank you. Kitty, about the shoe store, I'm sorry. I just thought someone should be thinking about Edward's happiness. Apology accepted. It wasn't really an apology. <laughs> well, let's just pretend it was and move on. <laughs> Listen, I still think Edward needs to find ways to relax and decompress. And if selling shoes is wrong for reasons I don't completely understand, maybe he can find something on this list. I didn't put anything on there where he needs to wear a uniform or touch people's feet or sing, even though I don't really know where you stand on that. I wouldn't like that. That's what I thought. <laughs> so, can I show this to him? He's not here. He went to the office. Kitty, how could you make him go back to that office? I didn't. Oh, come on. You dragged him out of that shoe store by his ear. Because Edward Montgomery should not be selling shoes. I have no objection to the man enjoying his life. Frankly, I think it's time he retired. Well, you don't seem to be helping much. One could say the same thing of you. What? You are the one who encouraged Gregory to search his soul, to follow his bliss, to defend the innocent. Did you ever stop to think that the only reason Edward Montgomery is sitting in that office is because he is waiting for his son to come in and take over the reins? No. Well, think about it now. That's everything I had on the uh, Conesco acquisition. I also noticed something in the uh, prospectus for the Energy Division tracking stock. I had the flu when I wrote that. There you go, sir. Cocoa with miniature marshmallows. Thank you, Janet. Nothing for me, thanks. Uh, back to the uh, tracking stock. Howard, have the underwriters signed off on this third quarter financial? Oh, hey, Dad. Uh, am I interrupting? No, no, I just, I brought your papers back and I noticed a couple of things, minor things. Very minor things. You have to be some kind of superhuman freak to notice them. <laughs> Not that your son is a freak. Or freakish. <laughs> if you'll excuse me, I have a urologist appointment. <laughs> Thanks. Um, my dad will fill you in on the rest of this. I guess I, uh, should be getting out of here. You probably want your desk back. You look pretty good sitting there. Uh, Janet uh, tells me you worked out some of the kinks in the Conesco deal. Yeah, just a couple of simple things. Howard would have caught them. Yeah. Eventually. Uh, it's not his fault. He's got some kind of a medical problem. <laughs> he, uh, he, he mentioned that. Um, anyway, uh, I'll see you later, Dad. Hey, uh, why don't you stick around? We could uh, go down to the commissary, uh, grab a lunch. I've got to get back to the office. Yeah, um, maybe some other time. You know, they have a Edward Montgomery sandwich. Really? Only place I've ever seen it. <laughs> what time will you be in in the morning, sir? Oh, I, I won't be in in the morning, gentlemen. I'll make a note of that. Oh, sir, your taffy arrived. Now, which of these examples is not sexual harassment? Miss Jones, could you bend over and see what's in the bottom of that? I told him he could finish the semester. Where's Marlene? <laughs> what's psychic electrolysis? I'm hoping those are two separate errands. Listen. I'm sorry about what happened with your dad. No. You care about him, and you want him to relax and enjoy his life. Sometimes I get it in my head that I can fix these things, but I can't fix this one. No, you can't. I mean, I thought your mom was pressuring him to go to work, but it turns out your dad's just... Well, he has his own reasons for being there. I think he's waiting for me, Dharma. He won't ask, but... He won't leave the business until he knows I'm there. Okay, how is it that everybody in your entire family knows everything about everybody without ever talking? Is it like dolphins? Is it a set thing? Is it telepathy? What's the code? I'm gonna do it, Mama. You gonna work for your dad? Just temporarily, you know, to make him 
comfortable about taking it easier. Look at you. You are a wonderful son. And it's not going to be easy leaving behind everything you've created here. Make yourself at home, why don't you? <laughs> yes, you should sue me for that. That was exactly my point. I want to take the stairs. Somebody threw up in the elevator. Professor. <laughs> sure you're not going to miss it here? Oh, it'll be a sacrifice, but he is my father. <laughs> Congratulations, you are now a graduate of the Pete Cavanaugh Law School. Congratulations. So it is, so it is. I'm sorry, Nadine. You've got to do a little extra credit work. You want us done in here? Yeah, all done.